Hi and welcome to Cool Photoshop. Today we're going to look at a complex selection, um, a way to pick out a very difficult image from a background, in this case hair. Okay, we start with an image. Here's an image and it's got hair. Let's zoom in a little bit and take a closer look at our hair because this is where we're going to be picking out our background. Okay, if we zoom right in, we'll see this is actually quite a mess. Um, that's going to be just about impossible to work with. There's no way we can accurately pick this hair out. So what we really need is a higher resolution image than this to start with. Okay, as it happens, I've got one right here underneath this one. See, this is only 350 Ks. This one is 23 megabytes. And if we zoom in, there we are. That's better. Now we can actually work with this. Okay. This image is going to be used in a website header. Uh, and for this particular header, I want the hair sticking out to the right. So the easiest way to do that is to flip the canvas horizontally, which is quite simple. Like so. The next task is to pick our hair out from the background so that we can deal with it. For this technique, we are going to look at the channels. This is an RGB image, so it has three channels, red, green and blue turn on our channels and we'll have a look at them individually. That's the red one, green one and blue one. And we notice that the blue has the greatest contrast with our background. In other words it's the darkest. Copy our blue channel okay, and there is a totally separate channel that we can play with without affecting the image. Open up levels and drag the left hand arrow over to the right and you'll see we're darkening the whole channel. We're changing everything to black. But we don't want everything to be too dark, so bring the right hand side in a little bit. This is more a matter of experimentation. Drag the right over, just have a little play. What we're trying to do is to turn all of the hair black. Don't worry about the face at the moment, we'll fix that in a minute. Okay, now next, just grab a brush, a black brush. Give it a decent sort of a size, a little slightly fuzzy, okay, and we'll just, just brush all this out. We don't worry about this. What we really want is our selection to be black. We've got this pearl necklace here, all right, we'll just brush that in there, and then we will zoom in, and as you can see, we've actually got a few little black specks around, but don't worry about them at the moment, ignore them. Take our brush, bring it down in size, to about pearl size I think, and we'll just brush in our pearls there. Go across to the other side, use our navigator, it's the easiest way, and just, just brush in all of our pearls. What we really want, as I say, is we want a nice selection that gets the hair and the girl and not the background. Right, I think we've got it. Now, if we turn that off, we'll go and have a look at our channels, and we'll turn the rest of the channels on, and we'll see we haven't actually affected our image at all. All we've done is create a new channel called Blue Copy, which is actually a mask. So if we go to Select, Load Selection, we'll see the Blue Copy is in the selection box. It's really the only choice we have. We can go OK and load it. Now the first thing we notice is we've actually loaded the, the white background, not the girl herself, but that's not a big deal. Uh, all we do there is go to Select Inverse. And now the girl and her hair has been selected from the background. The easiest way to turn her into a layer is to copy and paste. I'll do it through the menu so you can see. Copy, paste. And there she is. Let's look at the layers. Okay, turn off the background, we've got a girl, we've got all the hair, and nothing but transparency behind it. Turn background on, here we go. We'll make ourselves a new layer now to put in our new background. I want the background in behind the girl, and I actually want it to be a sort of a sky blue. Uh, the easiest way for me to find a sky blue is to open up a sky. Not everyone does this, they often try to guess their colours and they often get it wrong. I like to sample from reality. 
So we open this up and here's a photograph of a sky. I take a sample of the lightest end down near the horizon, click, swap the foreground for background and sample the top end. I've now got my two blues. Put the lighter one back to the fr front. With our layer selected, our background layer, I'll go to the gradient tool, make sure we've got the right gradient. Okay. It's linear, yep. Come down and we make a gradient. Hold down shift so that it's straight. There's our new background and it's a sky blue. We'll lose that to have a look at it. Okay, our hair is selected out from the background. Everything is there. We'll zoom in and have a look. Now there's those little specks that we had before. Don't worry about them. Believe me, don't worry about them. They will go away shortly. The next thing to do is stretch the image. I actually want the image to be longer than this and I want the hair to be longer. So the easiest way to stretch the image to start with is canvas size. Open up canvas size. We'll stretch it from the left hand out. We'll see it's 3,504 pixels. So if I make that 3 a 4, I can add a 1,000 pixels to the right hand side of the image. OK. And it's done. You can't see it there, so but if we move across, there we go. There's my extra image. Zoom out and that's what we're left with. Okay, back to our layers. I'm going to choose that new background layer that I've made. Um, I want to stretch that out. I'll use free transform. That's control or command T, but I'll show you in here. Free transform. I can stretch that because it's just pixels of color. Not a big deal. Done. Alright, make sure we've got our foreground layer selected. Now I need to select the hair. Um, easiest way to do this is with a lasso. We'll come in, we'll make a fairly rough selection of all of the hair away from the face. Come back around there and click. Copy and paste. That'll give us a new layer, if you want. Copy paste. That's it. And you can see I've selected the hair. It's moved it slightly, but that's okay. I can move it back in there and it'll click back because I've got Snap turned on in the view menu. Free transform. Stretch the hair. Look at that. Stretch it back in there. Right, so her hair has been lengthened just like that. No surgery, no hairdresser required. Now we need to clean up the edge of the hair. So if we come to our layers, turn on a layer mask for the hair. Now what a layer mask does is allows you to use a brush to brush on or off the layer. Okay, With that layer selected, I'll just get a brush, give it a decent sort of a size so you can see what we're doing. I'll make it maximum fuzzy. Click it on here and if I draw on that layer with black, you'll see it takes the layer away. Right, undo. Need a slightly bigger brush than that. Come up a bit. And then we'll turn on the layer behind it so we can see what we're doing. And if I just gently brush around here, where you where the two layers combine, you can see that I'm removing where it's an obvious transition from one layer to the other. All that's required now is to resample our image back down. Now remember this is a web header. If we have a look at this we can see it's four and a half thousand pixels wide. It's too big. 300 high is my web header. I know that so I resample it to 300. Okay, zoom it back out and we'll have a look. There we go, that's a hundred percent. That's what it's going to look like in my website. If I zoom in and have a look, you remember those little those nasty little things, little um, flecks, they've all gone. You see they were too small to survive the resampling, that's why I wasn't worried about them. 
So, there you have it. That's our web header with stretched hair and new background. If you want to see more tutorials on graphics programs, visit electricartist.com. If you want to learn more about computer graphics and graphic design, visit learncomputergraphics.com.